Hey everyone, I'm back with another update on the uh, Alpha 4017 project. And I just wanted to let you know that I'm actually having to drop the 4017 ships from the actual project. Just due to, um, when I went back through my designs, I found out that I can't really, especially when I have commands like jump commands, or whenever I'm doing the, um, branch if equal or branch if not equal commands is that I won't be able to do that very easily with the 4017 unless I add in a lot of glue logic. So what I did to compensate is that I grabbed my 4-bit counter chip and it is a um, 74HC163E and that's a 4-bit uh, binary counter with a 4-bit binary loading. So this actually would work out with another um, 4 to 16 decoders, the uh, 74HC4514. This would work in unison and it would essentially act as a 417, but I still have the ability to... Uh, load in any address I want through the uh, 74HC163E and use it as a jump command or break if equal command and what what have you. And also another thing is is that if I plan to um, upgrade this in the future, which I may or may not do, this is actually more feasible and more um, more robust than say using the 4017 because then I can have this cascade down into another 74163E chip and it can have another 16 addressing 16 address addresses but for now I just have it to where this setup will just count out these 10 addresses with dip switches right here and just load um, load in new memory addresses if I wanted to use a jump command or break if equal command. And so another thing is is that this chip down here is a 74LS373N chip and this one's an 8-bit latch chip and this is actually the one I got off the uh, NES in my last video and it actually works quite well, even though I had to get it off with my propane torch, because my soldering iron was being quite picky about getting components off. But anyway, so I got it off, and it's working beautifully. And the reason I had to add in a latch chip was that I went back through the um, my command set and comparing it to the actual schematic, and the biggest problem I faced was if I was transferring data from um, one reg one address one register to another, say I wanted to transfer from the accumulator to the X register, um, I would have to just have a latch chip that would prevent any uh, writing from this. So, and another thing is is that if I wanted to do addition and subtraction then I would have another race condition if I did not have this chip because when I load the value up into the acute into the ALU it will add that value to the uh, value coming in from the uh, data bus and those two values would begin to actually no the added value the sum of those two or the difference of those two would race against the actual the current value in the accumulator. So what I did is that I added in this latch chip and latch chip just says okay you're not going to um, hold this. So essentially it's just another storage location and um, this will hopefully uh, provide um, or prevent any race condition situations. And so far from what I have uh, gathered is that all the instructions will be uh, one clock cycle instructions. So 
this will actually be fairly efficient and I'm not sure how much computing power it will have um, I can guarantee you this that it's gonna be less than the Intel 4004 and that's saying something but it'll be quite interesting when I actually get it finished out so if you have any questions or comments just post them down at the bottom and I shall get back with you on some other projects. I shall see you later. See you.